with derelict buildings, many of which haven't been maintained for years. Town planners say the eyesores need to be fixed and both building owners and councils need to do more. In the heart of the city, a blot on the landscape. It's, it's not a good look. Uh, it's as simple as that. The Sir Charles Hotham Hotel has overlooked the city grid's southwest corner for 102 years, but the once grand building is now a rundown backpackers' hostel. It's earmarked for renovation, but projects like this can be held up for years, awaiting planning approvals or fighting objections in VCAT. But in the end, the, the buildings do not have to stay in this condition for that period of time. The problem isn't confined to the CBD. There are plenty in the inner suburbs, mostly former industrial sites, now worth millions more as residential developments. One day... A little bit mess. Not a little bit, it's much mess. <laughs> it used to look nice and now like it's all um, locked and there's nobody in, so it feels a little isolated. Until the old Windsor Smith factory in Northcote is knocked down to make way for apartments and shops, this is the view that locals have to put up with every day. It's a bigger mess. Who will give you the paint to paint all of this? Town planner Bill Kuznichuk says councils can and should use their power to keep developers in line. It's not just about the building being unsightly, it's about the building being safe, structurally sound, whether there are issues in relation to fire, whether there are issues in relation to access. At least one of the city's most prominent eyesores is soon to disappear. The 170-year-old Crossley building at the top of Burke Street has been a butchery, drapery, bookshop and liquor store, but in recent years has fallen victim to age and vandals. You can see these windows that are braced with a bit of timber. After years of false starts, it's finally set for a rebirth as a new upmarket restaurant. Dean Felton, 7 News.